If you don't find your own motivation to play in the Ryder Cup, there's something wrong with you. You don't belong playing there. Losing two matches in a row was hurtful to the Americans as they looked for solace at Brookline. I've been so lucky in my life, but to be the captain there was, was a distinct honor and a privilege. Sadly, uncharacteristic behavior inside and outside the ropes disrupted the Europeans. I enjoyed it from start to finish. It got a little unpleasant at times because of the crowd, etc., and uh, some of the things that happened, but you know, overall, from start to finish, I, I enjoyed it. However, the good name of the Ryder Cup was tarnished yet again. With America trailing by four going into the 12 singles, boorish behavior erupted, not just among the home fans, but unseemly chanting was heard from the visitors as well. All of the Europeans were playing well. Our team was actually almost to the desperation level, really, four points down. But I felt like enough of our fellows were feeling good about their games. I'm a big believer in faith. I have a good feeling about this. If we hadn't started well in the first three or four matches, it was over. These guys, the way they were playing, I thought that they were up for it and I thought they were just desperate enough to think that they could do it. And watching everything unfold was unbelievable. It just bred that chain reaction. The emotions really started running. And we were back into the matches quicker than we thought we would. I, these holes just kept coming back to us. One match here, one match there. You know, everybody started playing better. Emotions reached fever pitch when the decisive match between Justin Leonard and Jose Maria Olathabal reached the 17th green. There was no one on this planet that expected Justin Leonard to make that putt. It would never cross your mind. At that point, there was no thought process. Just sheer excitement because of the emotions I'd been through. It was the trigger for American players, wives, caddies, and even some photographers and camera crew to invade the green to share in the moment, unfortunately forgetting that Ola Thabal still had a putt to keep the match alive. Some things in golf happen that are just totally unexplainable. That was certainly one of them. They believed in themselves. They knew how close these matches were, uh, despite some fantastic play by the Europeans. But today, I swear it's up in the trees. It's fate. However unsavory, it had been a remarkable comeback by the American team.